I have sure talked to a lot of people by email and some by phone during this crisis that we're facing. And everyone says pretty much the same thing. They say, I'm going out of my mind, staying at home, not moving about like I normally did, not busy like I normally was. And they say that I've watched every TV show on Netflix, every movie, uh, and I'm running out of things to do. And often, if I know these people, I would remind them of something that they had said to me recently or long ago, of something they dreamed of doing. One person dreamed of going back to school and studying to become a nurse. And I said to her, I said, do you realize you have the time right now? You can do this. And she said, but I can't leave the house. And I said, well, the world is becoming a new place. You can begin online. And she thought that that was a revelation. She saw this time of being closed in as an open door opportunity. Another man had dreamed of writing a book. He had told me about that for decades. And I said, do you realize now is the time? You had the time to do this. This can be a time for you of finding true fulfillment. You can experience something very special in your life during this time. We have always felt a longing in our souls. People constantly come to me and they talk about a longing in their soul and they've tried to gratify that longing with some activity or goal, but often in between the busyness of their lives and they find that they're overdoing and overindulging, and they're fatigued, and then they give up. The longing is still there, but the will has gone away because they just couldn't make it fit in their lives. Well, if you continue to feel that something is missing, something is very important for you to do. I ask you to go to God this weekend. Talk to God about it and find a way during this precious time. The, the whole thing that I think is valuable in life is time. Uh, our lives used to be defined by the gold standard. But now, our lives are defined by the time standard that we will have enough time to do what we want to do. All the searching in the outer, going here and going there, does not bring the desired result. What is missing is mostly time. Time that we decide to take ourselves to find God's presence and then to talk with God. And the yearning within our hearts is truly a longing to express more of God's good. And so during these times of prayer that you have time for now, you can go to God and say, I express in my life a great desire and a willingness to do more and be more and help me right now not waiting till some unknown tomorrow help me to find a way during this precious time that i have now to find a way be determined each day to become a clear channel of God's good. Realize that God is the true source of contentment and fulfillment. And sometimes in prayer, you will find what I've found, that your initial goal that you had in human mind is not important at all. 
It is important, though, that you spend time with God and allow God to infill you and show you a way, a new way, perhaps a better way in life. And then you'll find true fulfillment and contentment. Our prayer for fulfillment can be, fill me with your presence, dear God, so that I may experience more of your love, your peace, your joy, and your wholeness right now. You remember what it says in the Bible in Psalms 145 verse 16. It says, Thou satisfies the desire of every living thing. Well, what if God was going to satisfy the desires that you have in your life, in your living? I pray that you find the true fulfillment of God. I pray that you realize that this time can be a great gift to you of the extra time that you've been given to experience God in a bigger way with wisdom, guidance, love, peace, joy, and wholeness right now.